Hi friends, welcome back to my channel you guys. Today for this mukbang, we are eating cuttlefish. This is a five pound cuttlefish, which I found at the Vietnamese market today. And I've been looking it for a while now. And the last time I saw it, I found mini ones. By the way, if you don't know what the cuttlefish is, it's basically a huge squid octopus looking thing. Usually it's about this size. <laughs> this is what it looks like without uh, this end on it. It looks like this. It's absolutely delicious. It tastes just like squid and octopus. And this is their normal size. And this is the five pound. Isn't it ginormous, you guys? Oh my gosh, I was shocked when I found this. It's so, so, so big. I actually got another one for my mom, which I'm going to drop off at her house because I feel like she's going to make really, really, really good soup with it. And to dip today, we have Vietnamese nuk mum, which is the fish sauce. I will leave the ingredients down below. It's very, very simple and easy to make. By now, I kind of just wing it because I make it all the time. We also have cucumbers on the side. And so without further ado, bon appetitis. Let's start with a cucumber. Mm. Oh my god, so delicious. Here, let me move this bowl before this goes all over us. This is what the bottom of it looks like. Ooh, we have one, you guys. We have one. Oh, we have to do question of the day. Okay, so my question of the day for today's video is if you could meet anyone in the whole entire world, whether they're still present or they pass, who would it be and why? Go ahead, leave a comment down below. Mmm. It's got the same texture as octopus and squid. But just a tiny bit saltier. Mm. It's not that chewy where we can't tear it apart, so that's good. Wow, it's so big. This cut up into small pieces for a hot pot would be absolutely delicious. You can do so many things with this. Put it in spring rolls, fried rice. Mm -mm. Oh my god Oh, 
So good. Oh, it's so easy to tear apart. I thought it was gonna be hard. Mmm. The body? It's so heavy. The body's very soft. In a way, it kind of tastes like biting into a, boil a boiled egg. Mmm. It's a little bit salty, not too much. I feel like somebody's right now like, Kim, why didn't you get scissors? I totally forgot because I was so excited. It's tearing, you guys. It's there. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness. This in a hot pot. There's no way I'll be able to finish this. Mm. It's so soft. Mm. The texture is so interesting. This is my first time having it, by the way. That's why I'm so intrigued. Mmm. It's firm, it's soft. It kind of tastes like a really good bougie eraser. answer my question that I asked you guys if I could meet anybody dead or alive the one person I've always wanted to meet is Lauren Conrad and I know a lot of you are like oh my god she's from the hills but aside from the hills okay I first discovered Lauren Conrad back in fourth grade I was in fourth grade at the time and an MTV Laguna Beach had just released and that was the first time I ever saw Lauren she was the head of the show if you guys watch old school MTV Laguna Beach, please comment down and let, let me know. I am a huge fan. I know every single line. I own every single DVD. I own all three seasons. I am very, very obsessed with the cast. But I love Lauren on that. And then I followed her all through the hills. And it was just really cool to see her grow up in her 20s. And the one thing that I love about her is that she's not only just a celebrity, but she really made it on her own. And she was able to start things, fail at them, and then learn from them and grow even bigger as a businesswoman. And I just love the fact that she just doesn't seem overall perfect. Like, if you know her story, she's been through failure and mistakes. Like, her first clothing line didn't work out. She's learned from it. Like, she's started so many things and have done so many things. And throughout the year, she's always stayed so classy and so educated. And I feel like if I ever met her, 
it was it would be kind of like a mentor situation for me where I would learn so much from her. So she's the one person that I would definitely want to meet. Mm. And Lisa Vanderpump for sure. I would definitely want to meet Lisa Vanderpump. I think she's also a very badass businesswoman. She's so smart and I feel like I can learn a lot from her business wise as well. Ooh, you guys know what I would really, really like if you guys would leave a comment down below and ask me a question. I feel like in every mukbang at the end or at the beginning, I haven't decided yet, I want to answer one to three questions every video from you guys so we kind of get a chance to know each other. So go ahead and leave that question down below. It literally could be anything from YouTube to something personal about myself to something where you want my opinion on, whatever it may be, I would love to answer it for you guys but i think that would be really fun to kind of incorporate that into the videos and get to know each other this is really good but i definitely will put it in like a hot pot like i keep saying i think eating it alone is, is yeah it's a little boring Alrighty friends, thank you so much for joining me for this very short video. I'm so glad that we got to try cuttlefish together for the very, very first time. Now I know exactly what it tastes like. I feel like it would be really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up into pieces. This would be really good into ramen, fried rice, hot pot, spring rolls, pretty much anything. It's a really, really nice texture, nice consistency. I'm so glad I tried it. This would be really good, which I was looking for the other day when I was doing that dish from that Lao dish with the noodles and it was too spicy where I couldn't handle it. I wanted to put it in there, but I couldn't find it. So I kind of am glad that I have it now. So when I make it for Michelle, I think that it's going to be absolutely delicious. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today for this very short video. I will see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video. Don't forget to leave that comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my loves.